booming in Wisconsin and not just in the areas you would expect. As we told you last week, Governor Tony Evers said Wisconsin's tourism industry generated $23.7 billion in 2022, beating the previous high of $22.2 billion set in 2019. Indigenous tourism is also seeing a big number around the country expected to surpass $65 billion in 2032. That's up from 40 billion last year. And with 11 federally recognized tribes, Wisconsin will share a sizable piece of that boost. And today we are joined by Suzette Brewer, Executive Director of Native American Tourism of Wisconsin. Suzette, thank you so much for stopping by. And, uh, thank you so much us. for having me. The indigenous tourism market is, is certainly growing. Now explain where it stands today and, and, and what are some of the projections moving forward? Cultural tourism is one of the fastest growing segments of the tourism industry in the entire world, actually, and especially in the United States, because we have 578 federally recognized tribes, all of whom are engaged in some type of tourism activity. Here in Wisconsin, I know we've had revenues prior to the pandemic of up to 1.5 billion that adds to the state's economy. So people are looking for unique experiences when they go out on their trips with their kids. They're looking for experiential things. They're looking for cultural activities. They're looking for um, unique sort of adventures that they may not get, um, you know, at, at, some, other, uh, at some other tourism um, location. location or, yes. What, what do you think are some of the factors that are driving this? Is, is it just better marketing to start with? Well, I like to think that, you know, we have good marketing here in <laughs> Wisconsin. It's honestly our tourism was our tourism marketing here in Wisconsin, in my opinion, is one of the most comprehensive tribal marketing strategies in the entire country. And is this fairly recent? It is fairly recent. I would say uh, now NATO has been in operation since 1994. But in the last three years since the pandemic get, began, we completely revitalized our entire marketing campaign. We really focused on demographics. We focused on focus groups for that matter. We really wanted to find out what are people after in terms of their tourism. And what we learned is that there's two things. One is public education because many people are not aware that there are 11 tribes here in Wisconsin. And then the second thing we learned is that people really are craving uh, unique cultural experiences for their tourism. And we have that in spades. What are some, conversely, what are some of the factors perhaps still hampering more growth? I would say right now it is truly a matter of getting the word out. I think, you know, it's not so much hampering as it is a lack of awareness. And so what our job is and what my job is to, is to let people know that we have 11 very diverse, beautiful tribes here in Wisconsin. They have all manner of tourism activities, outdoor recreation event spaces, you can get married, you can hold your conferences, you can go play golf, you can camp, you can take your RV, you can go swimming, boating, hiking, bird watching, all of those things are available to Beyond the gaming beyond that I gaming. think most people associate. And gaming is important. Mm. And, and I don't want to take anything away from our gaming industry because it provides so much revenue for human services in Indian country. It mm. provides education, <laughs> health care, um, housing and it provides um, a, a budget that we wouldn't have otherwise. So I think it's really important that people understand that there's more to the tribes uh, than they might imagine when they go out to the communities. Natow holds an annual conference. It's coming up uh, next week at the Menominee Casino in Kashina. What are uh, some of the highlights and, and, and give us a sense of what this conference is about? Oh, we can't wait. So the Natal Annual Conference is going to be in, at the Menominee Casino Resort on June 20th through the 22nd. We begin with a golf tournament at the Pine Hills Golf Course in Gresham. That is owned by the Stockbridge Muncie. They are partners of mm -hmm. ours. And uh, subsequently to that, we are going to be hosting a two-day conference that's going to include Indigenous the Band, who's coming in from Minnesota. They're going to be playing on Wednesday night. We have an uh, Indian Shark Tank competition <laughs> where we're going to be, we're going to have uh, probably over a dozen uh, pitchers who are going to come in and pitch their business ideas for the chance to win $5,000 to start their business or, or continue their business. We have an indigenous fashion show. We have uh, museum uh, content that's going to be there that day. We have um, also an indigenous menu that's going to be uh, presented on Wednesday night, which is going to be uh, beautiful um, 
it's, I'm really excited about the dinner actually because I love food. <laughs> but so do uh, I. we have a chef Thomas Bovine who's going to be creating an uh, an all Menominee menu for wow. our 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 conference. In, so in about 15, 20 seconds, I know it's not easy, but for somebody who's maybe never considered visiting one of our 11 Native American tribes, what do you tell them? We welcome you. We welcome you. We, we want you to come and explore and discover Native Wisconsin. There are so many beautiful communities here in the state of Wisconsin, and they've got so much to offer in terms of all the like I said, all the outdoor recreation activities we have. There's so many beautiful events that are happening, festivals, powwows, um, the list goes on and on. So please visit our website at www.natal.org and you can learn there all the things that we have to offer. Suzette Brewer, Executive Director of Native American Tourism of Wisconsin, thanks for joining us. Thanks for your insight today. Thank you for having me.